welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're someone that really wants to get serious about their goals, resetting, and just overall setting yourself up for 2024 to be your best year yet, I'm going to be breaking up this video into different segments, all of the different things that I like to do to fully feel refreshed and aligned in the new year, kind of prepare us and open us up to the idea of a new chapter. Some of those being mindset, how I personally set goals and intentions, how I create my vision boards, and then just also some additional things that I like to do to fully feel reset. But yeah, you guys, I feel like we need to just jump right into this video. I'm wishing everyone the most wonderful year ahead, and I really hope that this video can help serve as any source of inspiration to become the best version of yourself and start your new year right. I'm currently just making a really quick snack before I head out of the house. We need to be feeling fully fueled and just good, and also just filling up my Stanley Cup, so hydrated, fueled, all the good things. After we eat, I'm going to be heading to the nail salon. I have an appointment at 3.30. I want to walk into 2024 with fresh nails because these really need to go. I've had them since the beginning of December, and they are so grown out. Just as a little update as it's getting dark so early. So number one, as you guys saw, I went and got my nails done. I just got a fresh shellac manicure in the color bubble bath, which is what I've been doing the last couple of months to my nails. I've really been liking just the gel polish. I feel like my nails have strengthened so much and even just having short nails has been so nice. And then the next place that I just went to honestly made me so happy because I feel like it's a little tradition that I've had with myself the past few years. But I basically went and picked up a brand new notebook. And this notebook is not just any notebook, but it's a notebook that's dedicated to 2024. I've been picking up a brand new notebook at the beginning of each year, probably for the last three years or so, and I try to put very specific things in this notebook. Goals, dreams, intentions, even self-improvement, and just basically all things that fall under that umbrella. It has been so interesting to look back at my other notebooks because I feel like it is just so much insight on what that year looked like for me. I'm 23 now, so I don't think I'm that far into my 20s, but something that I have learned over these past few years is how different each year has looked for me and also almost how different the lessons of each year were. So again, when I talk about personal growth and development, and all that fun stuff. I also like keeping that in this journal. In 2021, I think was the first year where I really got out of my comfort zone for the first time. I launched my brand Hold Tight Club. I also started to take a lot more things seriously that before that I only dreamt of doing them, even like my brand or anything with social media and just really working on the things that I know inner me or the highest version of myself would be doing. And of course, from that, it has been a work of progress, but I've never looked back and I've just realized how much goal setting, even the delusional goals where you're like, that is impossible. There is no way that could happen for me. Truly having the mindset that anything is possible and not believing in failure. Yeah, basically ever since I really started working on my mindset to be that instead of limiting beliefs, that is when I really started seeing results. So having a notebook like this where you are so serious about your goals, no matter how big or small they are, is kind of the key to getting there. So yeah, I really love this journal. It actually says the sky is the limit. And I think because it's so close to the new year, there wasn't a lot of options left for journals. It looks like it's so late, but it's not. It is literally 4.40 p.m. and the sun is basically fully set. And yeah, we have so much to start diving into. So so I'm gonna drive home. There was so much that happened in 2023 that I am so proud of. Reflecting on 2023 before setting goals for 2024 is very important for several reasons. It allows you to look back and learn from both your challenges and your wins, giving yourself a good understanding of what worked well and what didn't, which helps you just create overall better goals. And it also allows you to see clearly how much personal growth that you've had over that past year. So even in this moment, if you are not where you wanna be, you should definitely allow yourself to just realize how far you've come. And if you're not proud, I'm proud of you. So I thought I would share some of the things that I was proud of in 2023. I feel like in 2023, I grew closer with myself than I really have in previous years. And just my overall self and personal values, I became a more mindful person, a happier person. And I feel like I also got a better sense of direction and just where my goals are at. I also had a ton of growth in my business, Hold Tight Club, which is so exciting. I feel like we really evolved this past year and I am so proud of us. Earlier in the year, I attended New York Fashion Week, which was so cool. It was actually, I think my third time attending, but this time around I held off opportunity to go to a lot of shows that I've never been to before, including some that are high fashion brands. So I'm so grateful. I went to many of my dream travel destinations. I went to Hawaii. I think that was in March, New York City for the third time. I went to Paris in the summer, which was definitely a high up there. I've always wanted to visit Paris. So 
that was so beautiful. The French Riviera. I went to a couple of new cities in Spain and I also got to go to Bulgaria and visit my family. So yeah, full packed European summer. I think that was so much fun. I got to spend a lot of quality time with people in my life, which I definitely made a big priority this past year. I also worked with many of my dream brands as well as started creating more beauty and makeup content and also connecting with really cool brands that were on my goals last year, such as YSL Beauty, Carla Tilbury, Rare Beauty, and so many more that again, I am forever, forever grateful for. So yeah, those things were definitely some of my highlights of 2023. But now we have our 2024 journal and I wanna talk a little bit of my version of how I goal set. The first thing that I like to look at is the different aspects of my life and the things that I wanna see improvement in. So for example, one of those aspects is my business. One of them is health and wellness. I wanna improve in reading. And then I also have other elements to my life such as YouTube. So once I reflect on what aspects of my life I want to improve on, I've written out five goals that I can actively work on every single day. And the most important thing about goal setting in my opinion is not just having a goal but it's also having a why so i'll have my goal and then i'll have my why underneath of why i want to reach this goal the reason for that is because our why is what keeps us going it is our purpose and why we don't give up so i'm going to spend a little bit of time journaling and probably creating a little 2024 cover page and then on the inside i'm going to start writing out my goals basically stayed up for quite a while. I just felt so excited and inspired diving into all things my vision board for 2024. But I do think that there's certain techniques that I've learned throughout the years that can really make it as effective as possible and truly visualizing your goals and what you want your focus of the next year to be. So of course, we already did that by setting our goals, which is why I like to categorize my goals. Like you guys saw, I had my lifestyle goals, a work goal, a business goal, a personal goal. Another thing I want to mention is you do not need to do this all in one day. I mean, even last night, I felt like I was getting so out of it and so tired and at one point I just couldn't think straight I ended up shutting off my laptop and I think that was really helpful because I really like working on my goals when I'm awake and in the right mindset so feel free to take however long you want on this. But yeah, when you see your goals daily on a vision board, it helps keep your goals at the forefront of your mind. And what many believe, and I also do believe, it's that when you have that picture and visualization and you're seeing it regularly, the goal is, is that it manifests itself into reality. And it's a way of programming your subconscious mind to seek opportunities that align with your aspirations. And obviously you can't just create a vision board without having goals or any sort of plan in place, which is why I like doing my goal setting first and just having a really clear picture of the things that I am working towards and also how I'm working towards them, why I'm working towards them. So yeah, to sum it all up, a vision board is a very powerful tool. If you truly look at it and feel connected with it, that is kind of how it works best. If you have a couple of things that you're thinking and you're like, oh my gosh, I would love for this to happen, but I don't know how realistic it is, throw it on your vision board because in my opinion, even if you put something on your vision board and it doesn't actually happen exactly like that picture, you're still probably going to be making decisions throughout the year that are going to get you in line with starting that goal. So that is why even some of the things on my vision board they aren't necessarily things that will just happen overnight, but I know by looking at it every day, something that I'm hoping to align myself with when the time is right. This is my 2024 vision board. It's definitely more packed than my previous year. And again, that is something that I wanted to challenge myself with. So the first top corner again starts with my travel goals and the saying, I'm the creator of my own reality. I have a saying that says, I attract beautiful friendship into my life. So just a lot of really good affirmations, lots of new travel destinations. I have a whole section just for work because I have a lot of goals for my brand even posting more of these types of videos on youtube there's like a little final cut pro editing laptop with underneath the word consistency because i want that to be a theme in my 2024 with the things that i'm working towards there's an image of someone in a zoom meeting and that kind of represents being in my own meetings and showing up as my highest self in those meetings there's keys there's two girls at a panel which i feel like reminds me of danica and i makeup which represents beauty content packages i have a few things for my health and wellness obviously again i feel like everyone's vision board is kind of like their own puzzle and it truly makes the most sense
against the person that created it. I usually always like to add a little saying in the middle. So I have the words, relentlessly believe in who you are becoming, which I feel like is very on brand for 2024. So if you wanna put the same saying on yours, let me know if you do so. But yeah, I will have a Pinterest board that is public with all these images on there. So you guys can find that on my Pinterest, which will be linked down below. Okay, so now we're in the place. We have our goals down. We have our whys. We have our action plan. We even have our vision board. So the last thing that I prepared for myself that I think is so helpful, however you like to keep organized, you do that because I've tried out so many different ways and this is just what works best for me. But I went in a few days ago and I kind of revamped my notion. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like because I love it. And I feel like it's been very visual and easy to use every single day, which is something I like about Notion. It's very customizable. And I don't like to have too many pages. I like to keep it very simple and just pages that I'm actually going to be using. So I have my whole tight club, which I'm not going to show just because there's a lot of information and things on there. But I also have a reading page, which is really nice because this is where I'm going to be keeping up with the 10 books that I'm going to be reading this year. I have my travel goals and I also have a separate place for my 2024 goals. And I can always revisit them digitally. And then underneath, obviously I'm not going to open these, but this is sponsors and then finance tracker. So those ones are more self-explanatory, but it's just tracking those two things. But yeah, whatever system works for you moving forward, obviously there's so many actions and hard work that comes with, you know, actually making your goals your reality. But if you put everything hand in hand, I feel like it's a very good formula on getting yourself on the right track. So yeah, you have your goals, you have your whys, we have our weekly actions, we have our vision board, our actual tracker, or even just any sort of planner to put those actions into. All of these tips or even systems can be reset basically at any time. And I usually always do go and revisit it and see what's working and what's not. But yeah, I feel like try and simplify it as much as possible. Now it is just kind of time to put everything into action. I think the best way to begin a fresh start is by decluttering, making sure there's nothing left on your to-do list to carry into the next year. And of course your environment is key. A clean environment contributes to such a clear mindset. So we need to get into that and reset some of those physical things in our lives. spent this evening basically cleaning up my room. I feel so good to be sitting in a clean environment. Even the little details like fresh sheets, decluttering your drawers, your closet, just anything that you no longer hold space for makes the biggest impact on you. And I just feel so good. Did a little bit of self-care, which is why I'm in this attire, my pink robe and my headband, which is my all-time favorite outfit. And yeah, I just feel so excited and so much more aligned heading into the new year. It definitely feels like we did a full reset. The very last thing that I wanted to chat about just before we end off this video is the journal that we now have because I feel like I could have talked about it a little bit more. I personally like to use two different journals. So I have this one, which I use almost every day. It's almost like my notes app on my phone where there's no specific topic. But if I have an idea for something or want to grab a piece of paper and quickly write something down, then this is the notebook where I do that. The reason why I like that is because then I have my more personal journal. And in this journal, I like to keep things very personal, like my goal setting, visualization. If I read a book and I want to reflect on it, what I learned, lessons that I learned, and a couple more pages that I'm thinking about writing in here that are more New Year's related. I don't know if you've seen that trend on TikTok, but there's a trend going around and it's basically ins and outs for 2024. Basically write all of the things that are in for you and all the things that you're leaving behind. So I thought that that was a really cute journal prompt as well because you can get very detailed and personal with it. All of your intentions for 2024. Other things I've done in the past are letters to my future self. You imagine what your future self would be doing or the life that they would be living. Maybe it can reflect off of your vision board and you can journal about what's around you, how you're feeling, 
and that is just another form of visualization but yeah that is why i think having a journal like this is so special you can really make it what you want it to be but i think it's just really nice starting off the year with a fresh notebook to write in and i promise you even your future self will be so happy to look back on it i have had so much fun filming this and i really hope that you enjoyed it i really want to make more dedicated videos like this in the new year about just things that i feel passionate about because i normally really stuck to vlogs this past year but that is definitely part of my goals in 2024 so let me know how you enjoyed i'm wishing you guys the most beautiful start to your new year and i'm wishing that all of your goals and dreams come true make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already i love you guys and i'll see you back with my next video